Right. Good weekend. Oh, great weekend. Well, tell me about it so I can vicariously experience your youthful exuberance. What did you do? Uh, well, we just... Uh... We stayed in. Yeah, we, we stayed in. <laughs> <laughs> right. Good morning, Julia. Freya, you're a nanny. I'm trying to get a head start. Oh, well, you won't hear me complaining. <laughs> Listen, Heston's over at the campus today, so you can use his room if you like. Brill. Oh, Freya. Um, just a word. Listen, I don't want to interfere with your work ethic, but don't let yourself get caught up with getting into competition with Kevin. Just be professional, do the best you can. That's all I ask. Of course, I'm sorry. Mill Health Centre? Miss Parsons, it's Chanda Malik from the Clements Pharmacy. I'm calling about Dr Wilson's patient, Marcus Tidwell. Oh, hang on a second, she's right here. No, I meant... It's for you, pharmacist. Hello, Dr Wilson. Dr Wilson, it's Chanda Malik. I'm calling about the prescription you gave Marcus Tidwell last week. OK, what seems to be the problem? I was expecting to hear back from you on Friday. Um, will you remind me? You prescribed beta blockers to a man who uses an inhaler. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Well, if you don't even know what that means, then this is an even bigger problem than I thought. Um, one moment, please. Yes, I've got his notes up on the computer now. Did you even look at his history? Is there a chance it's in his paper notes rather than on the computer? OK, well, I'll, I'll check that out. Dr Wilson, I appreciate you're only a registrar, but I have to say you don't seem to be taking this very seriously. And you didn't even return my message, which, frankly, I find unprofessional. I see. Oh, that's fantastic. I couldn't agree more. Who did you say you left the message with? It was so wasted. I mean, completely hammered, right? So we got this um, this blue dye stuff that Andy got from the lab. Uh, Methylene blue. That's it, that's it. And it's bright, bright blue, right? So we used it to paint glasses on his face. But in the morning, we couldn't get it off. He had to get married with his drawn-on specs. Man, it was funny. He had his wedding photos like that. Yeah. That's not funny. It's extremely foolish. You're lucky you didn't cause an allergic reaction. The photos would have been the least of his worries. Yeah, well, it wasn't my idea. You ever been married, Dr Carter? Mind your own business. It's not a wedding, unless something goes horribly wrong. I mean, that's half the fun at mine and Rob's wedding. Karen, please, please. No more horror stories. Jimmy, tell them. I want everything to be perfect. Uh, no, I think Karen's right. If something goes wrong, it just gives you a funny story to laugh about when you're older. <laughs> uh, when you're older? Have you looked at yourself recently, mate? You know, I know this is a difficult concept for you, all this grown-up stuff, the commitment to marriage, but one day, you might get it. Mm. See you later. See ya. Excuse me. One to one with you today. He's at campus this morning and here this afternoon. Oh, he must be struggling. What a shame. Morning, Freya. How are you this morning? Everything all right? Need a hand with anything? No, I I'm fine. Thank you. Jolly good. And that's 13 pounds and 13 ounces. Unlucky for some, eh? Not for you. Well done. You've reached your target. I think we can dispense with your medication. Richard, I must say I'm very impressed with your effort over the last year. You look healthy, confident, and is that a new outfit I see before me? Oh, yeah. I've, uh, got a date, actually. A date? Wonderful. How did you meet? Oh, no. Well, it's, uh, it's more of a blind date, really. I, I say blind date. I, uh, answered a lonely heart's head. I know it's pathetic, but... Nonsense. Lonely Hearts is as good a way as any other of meeting a like-minded person. I don't know. You should see the place she said to meet. It's this new tea shop on North Street. All jars of tea leaves, you know. 
The sign says they've got over a hundred blends. I didn't know there were ten. Tea's just tea, isn't it? <laughs> Not at all. Tea is ambrosia of the everyman. It sounds like a delightful place. Yeah, well, I'm more of a fill your flask up at the garage and get back in your lorry sort of a bloke, to be honest. I should just cancel. Save myself the embarrassment. Just go along and be yourself. Carpe diem. Yeah, well, I'm not really a fisherman, but... Thanks for everything, Dr. Carter. Heston. Terry. Mr. Willis. Not good? I don't think he's coping well on his own. Maybe it's time we involve the social services. Mm. I'll give him a call. Sad, really, to get to that age and not have anyone. He's probably better off in the home. At least then he won't be on his own. Hi, Kevin. It's me, again. Can you please call me back? He didn't mean it, you know. He's not like that. He just got in with the wrong crowd. I have an idea. Come. Did you put it in the bucket there? Sorry about earlier. <laughs> I'm meeting someone. Okay, what can I get you? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's all tea, is it? All tea? Uh, in that case, I'll have a uh, pot of tea, please. Which blend? Blend, yeah. Uh, ah, gunpowder, please. That's a green tea. That's right. Any cakes, biscuits, all homemade? Oh, <laughs> bet not. and get them to clear a theatre for emergency surgery. Uh, OK, who's the patient? Dr Kevin Taller needs surgical intervention to remove a mobile phone from his person. That was a work message. Marilyn. Hello, hello. Um, well, there's a lovely tea shop on, uh, on North Street. Oh, so, so I could see you Yeah, 2.30, yeah. Bye-bye. Have you got a date? Miss Mr. Harper. How's 
the tea? Yeah, it uh, tastes sort of like grass. You don't know anything about tea, do you? No, not a thing. You chose gunpowder because it sounded manly. Yep. <laughs> well, if you really want to make a good impression, I've got some nice champagne oolon. Now, it's a little bit more expensive because it's quite difficult to get hold of, but that's what makes it so special. Oolong? Sounds like something out of Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and it comes in a teapot that's bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. Sold. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? <laughs> ah, that is better. Hey, you want to go? Yes. Hmm? Hold on tight. Oh, Heston, what do you think of this dress? I've got to get it off. Oh, is it your date? Please don't make a fuss. So it is a date? Uh, well, it's early days, so I'd rather keep it under my hat, if you don't mind. So who is she? What's she like? Her name is Marilyn. Uh, she's intelligent, good sense of humour, enjoys travelling, dining out and long walks in the country. She sounds lovely. As I say, it's early days. It doesn't mean that it can't be exciting. See you this afternoon. Have fun! Oh, Daniel, what do you think of this dress? It's horrible. Really? Yep. Oh. Kevin here? Uh, yeah, he's in there. It's not like that. It's not uh, as if there's a scoreboard somewhere with both your names on. Well, could you at least tell me the criteria? You know, is it um, who's the best doctor, who who gets on best with the patients, uh, who's the best team player? All of the above, OK? Uh, best thing you can do is just get on with your job and not worry about it. <laughs> That's easy for you to say. I had to work my nuts off to get this job and then I find out I have to compete in front of everyone. I know, it's not ideal. But I'm positive that we are... You are going to win. Yeah, well, I'll just have to make sure of it, won't I? Good. That's the spirit. Now, anything else you want to talk about? Freya! What are you doing? Um, I was look looking for you. Oh. Uh, how's it going? Uh, yeah, great. Didn't think that... Planning weddings would be your cup of tea. Oh, it's not so much the wedding as the, the planning bit that I get into. There's loads to do if you want to lend a hand. Yes! <laughs> great, great. <laughs> <laughs> OK. So, what's the verdict? It's definitely my favourite one so far. It's a bit flowery, but not as perfumey as the Earl Grey. More like, I don't know, bath water. <laughs> Mm, it's refreshing. Some people do put tea in the bath, you know. Green and white tea are very good for the skin, apparently, full of antioxidants. You know your stuff, eh? <laughs> you must think I'm a right uncultured swine. So, do you think you've picked up enough to impress your friend? Oh, well, I don't think I'll have to worry about that. I think I've been stood up. Oh, I'm sorry. Here. Me up. <sighs> Stuff it. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so, all this is yours, is it? Every last leaf. It's my pride and joy, this place. I just hope I can hold on to it. Business hasn't exactly been booming lately. In that case, I'm glad I could help you out. What have I spent now? About 400 quid. <laughs> <laughs> you don't seem to be doing too badly. Plenty of customers in today. Offices around there, are there? Um, I'm talking of customers. Oh. I'll, I'll just... Of course, yeah. Doc! Richard! Um, so, so I arranged to meet someone here so I could see what the place was like. I thought you'd be gone by now. Oh, no, it's fine. Uh, well, things seem to be going well. I'll leave you to it. Uh, these are all mine. Oh. Yeah, she never showed. Oh, I am sorry. Probably took one look at me through the window and did a runner. 
I'm sure that's not true. There must be a perfectly reasonable explanation. Have you tried bringing her? Who am I kidding? I can do something about my waistline. Just a shame I can't do anything about the rest of me. See? Hardly attractive, is it? Can't even pour a proper cup of tea. What are you doing? Lapsang Souchong for two, please, when you have a moment. OK, so I'm not sure whether the flowers should be colour-coordinated to match my dress or the bridesmaid dresses. I wasn't sure whether to say anything. No, no, you did the right thing. We'll have a word with this afternoon. Have you got house calls to make now? Yep. Well, I'll walk out with you. OK. Well? Uh, both. They'll complement each other. Look, Cherry, I, I've, I've got to go, so... OK, just before you do, uh, just have a look at this. Do you think something like this or something more traditional? I'm really boring you, aren't I? No, you're not. I just needed... Do you know what? Don't matter. I can wait. Let's have another look. OK, so... Souchon. Finest tea in the world. There we go. Sugar, if you must. Three. No milk. English breakfast? If you'd be so kind. I think we have earned ourselves some lunch. <coughs> Come. Uh, don't forget to wipe your feet. That's better. Answer machine. Hi, it's Richard. It's coming up to half two. I was just checking whether or not you got held up before I make a move. Uh, give me a bell if you're still coming. Thanks. OK. Bye, then. She won't call. Can't blame her, really. Classy woman like that. I might as well. Who knows if I put all the weight back on? She doesn't deserve you anyway, keeping you waiting this long. Should never have agreed to meet her in the first place. Listen, Richard, you can't force these things. I know it's difficult when everyone around you seems to have the perfect partner, and the days when you don't relish going back to an empty home. But you'll find someone when you least expect it. I myself help. Oh. Hi. Oh, no, no, don't worry about it. It's fine. Oh, really? Well, that's great. Yeah, OK. I'll see you soon, then. OK? Bye for now. She got held up at work. Yes. I knew there had to be a simple explanation. She was really apologetic. Said she'll be here in the next hour. That's great. Isn't it? Maybe there's hope for me yet. <laughs> I should get back to work. I thought you were meeting someone. I'll give them a call. Do you think I could have the bill, please? Sure. So, what do you think? You got any more? Oh, you have got a very big appetite for someone with such a small stomach. My dad's not really into cooking. Mm. Maybe I can teach you how to make a few things, then you can cook for him. What do you think? That'd be cool. <laughs> right, a little more stew, then we can clear up outside before we start on anything else. Best of luck this afternoon. <clears throat> ah, Marilyn? Hello. 
Oh, You're waiting for Marilyn too. I don't understand. You're all waiting for Marilyn. Is this some sort of a joke? So, who would benefit? You. You arranged to meet all of us. Listen, I know it looks bad. Forget but... it. No way. <laughs> Let me have a look at that. Oh, oh, leave it. I'm fine. It's not fine. Let's no. get it under running water. Uh, can you get me some cling film? Oh. Sorry. Oh, oh you will be. Not yet. Yeah. Oh. 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 No. Oh, yeah. Get inside. Now. It started small, just one or two meetings a week, but it went so well. I thought I'd lose everything if I didn't get the customers in. It just spiralled out of control. I suppose I, I figured that being stood up goes with the territory if you go through the Lonely Hearts. I didn't mean to hurt anyone. But that must have been you on the phone before. You asked me to keep waiting. Well, I wanted to wait till the shop was quiet so I could tell you the truth. I didn't want you going away thinking it was all your fault. You don't deserve that. You're a really nice bloke. What about the rest of your dates? Don't they deserve better than that? You took advantage of vulnerable men who wanted to find someone to spend the rest of their lives with. Men who find it difficult to get a date at the best of times and for whom lonely hearts took a lot of courage. I'm sorry I took advantage of you. Well, not me, obviously. It's a good way of getting customers through the door, I'll give you that. <laughs> but couldn't you have, like, I don't know, called one man and one woman and matched them up so they'd at least have a proper date? That's brilliant. I didn't think of that. <laughs> I think you should show that to your GP. Thank you. I could uh, stick around for a bit if you like. Give you a hand. Really? Doesn't mean I've forgiven you or anything. <sighs> Understood. <laughs> good. All right, I expect you'll be needing a cup of tea then. Well, if you start with the... It's OK. I've been paying attention. I will leave you in Richard's capable hands. And um, if you are having a singles afternoon, my number. Thanks. Mm. I'm not sure. What do you think? They both look the same to me. I'm sorry. Let's go back to the other one a sec. Oh, nuts. It's, it's time to put back. Nothing OK? Uh, yes. I just have to... i got to go. See you later. Oh, they did not. You know they get that from you. I... You were always getting into trouble when you were a child. Maybe I should come and visit. Keep them out of mischief. Next month, maybe? Oh, yes. Yes, everything is fine. It would just be nice to have a holiday, that is all. Get some sun. Spend some time with the family. Yes. There is nothing to worry about. I am very happy here. Very happy. Kevin. Have you talked to Daniel today? I've spoken to Daniel today, yeah. You know what I mean. Have you spoken to him about them, the mix-up? with Marcus Tidwell's prescription. Oh, the mix-up? Is that what we're calling it now? Because I thought it was more like, I don't know, uh, a giant, negligent, life-threatening mistake. Right, that's a bit over the top, don't you think? It was just a, a drugs error. It happens. Yeah, it happens. It happens if you're incompetent and you don't check your patient's history, yeah. Kevin, please... Please. It was a silly little mistake. If things were the other way around, you'd want your colleague's support. 
You know, I wouldn't need my colleague's support for a silly little mistake, because I wouldn't make a mistake like that in the first place. Now, you might not think so, but I am a good doctor. And I thought you were, too. Guess I was wrong. Please open the door! I have called the police! I've got an old Brian in my room asking for a flu jab. So? So? We don't give flu jabs to 42-year-old. I ate the same thing and, and I am fine. Yeah, well, you're probably immune, aren't you? Bush meat, was it? You should have told me. You should have checked, shouldn't you? Absolutely. <laughs>